All right, good morning to my reset crew. I know the lighting is not so great in here, but it does not matter. Um, I'm jumping on here because it's a Sunday morning here in Newcastle and it is just divine. I have just finished teaching a heated yin yang practice, which is so beautiful on a Sunday. Um, and I have just landed in such a space of gratitude. There have been so many synchronicities that have been unfolding in my life, especially the last three months. And it comes down to surrender and yielding and trusting the process that all is well. Now, I wanted to share this out because we are in week two of the reset now. And in the first week, we really dove into the wheels of our vehicle and, and where we start to see them falling off. So experiencing in our lives too much air things moving too fast you know too much dryness um, not enough stopping um, too busy things are moving too fast um, too much fire as in intensity judgment um, righteousness um, jealousy uh, too much heat in and around our world you know always doing or doing the spin class consistently um, constantly moving like you know, to, to create a lot of sweat and fire within our bodies. And of course, then too much earth. So if we're feeling stuck or rigid or stagnant, um, we are not feeling motivated, we're eating a lot of foods that are really heavy and, and making us feel blah, um, and where we might be holding excess um, body fat in ourselves and in our bodies, and we're just not motivated to go and burn some energy. All of those um, particular energies are going to, of course, throw off the first wheel of our car. So I'm just recapping into this. This is just a short video to bring you to awareness. So awareness is everything um, and it is key to change. This whole reset program is all about presence. So what I want you to do today and you know, over this course and hopefully further on, is to consistently check in with you today. So again, and I've repeated this in the Zoom call, but I wanted to do a separate video because a lot of it is repetition and consistency. As you move through your day, using the breath that I've shared with you, this inhale from the belly first into the ribs, then into the chest and the lungs, and then exhale chest and lungs, down into the ribs and into the belly. It stimulates cranial nerve 10 being our vagus nerve. And every time you do this in your environment, right, you don't need anything to do this. You can just stand there and place your hands in your body and be like, hang on, self-check in, inhale, what am I noticing in my body? Exhale, what emotion am I feeling? And that's when you can see what your body is doing, whether it's tensing up, whether you're bloating, whether you are um, experiencing neck tension or closing or tightness within your jaw. And of course, whatever emotion you are experiencing at the time, worry or doubt or fear or judgment or comparison, whatever that may be, you'll be experiencing something if the somatic response in your body is tension, which means that on this breath in and breath out, you then bring awareness to the situation. You are noticing and becoming the witness of what's going on. And then you have an opportunity to change it and balance the wheels of your vehicle. So again, it's simply an inhale, belly, rib cage, lungs, exhale, lungs, rib cage, belly, and then be like, I see you, I feel you, what am I noticing? What do I need to do in this moment to communicate with my nervous system that I am safe? This is exactly what this course is about because the moment we do this, the moment we close off, the moment where our self-talk goes from kindness and compassion to judgment and self-comparison, we are telling our nervous system we are not safe, digestive system shuts down, we are on the road to inflammation, sickness and disease. So a body that is open is a body that can receive and give love. A body that is closed will only be on autopilot and in reactivity. So what do you want to do today?